In this video we're going to sum up a couple of infinite geometric series um, that may not look initially like geometric series. Now in this one we have 3 to the n over 10 to the 2n plus 1. Well what we want to do is we want to rewrite this part as an exponential function so we can see what its common ratio is and if that common ratio is going to be less than 1. So we're going to apply a couple properties of exponents. So this is going to be from n equals 0 to infinity. And I can rewrite the denominator. The numerator is 3 to the n. The denominator can be rewritten as 10 to the 2n times 10 because of this plus 1. <clears throat> now, I'm going to write that 1 that one tenth out front. So I'm going to rewrite this as one tenth times 3 to the n over 10 to the 2n. This is from one, n equals 0 to infinity. Now the other thing, in the denominator I'm going to think of that as 10 squared to the n. So, the value of that is I can rewrite this guy as from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 tenth and now 10 squared is 100 and then I have 3 to the n over 100 to the n I can write that as 3 over 100 to the nth power so I have an exponential which makes this series geometric with a common ratio of 3 over 100 which is less than 1 so the sum is going to be the first term over 1 minus the common ratio. So we have to calculate the first term. The first term is going to happen when n is 0. Plugging 0 in for that, I get 3 one hundredths to the 0, which is 1, times 1 tenth, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which we identified as 3 over 100. So 1 minus 3 over 100, which equals 1 tenth, this is going to be 97 hundredths. Dividing by it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So 100 over 97. We can do a little bit of canceling here. And our solution is 10 97ths. So this series does have a sum, and it's 10 97ths. So it converges. Let's look at one more. Again, that initially may not look like a geometric n equals 1 to infinity of 9 to the n plus 3 to the n over 10 to the n if you start to do out the terms of this they won't look geometric because as written it's not exponent an exponential function but what we can do is we can split it we can look at this as the summation of from n equals 1 to infinity of 9 to the n over 10 to the n plus 3 to the n over 10 to the n. These are each exponential and by properties of summations we can actually split this into two summations. So n equals 1 to infinity of 9 tenths to the n using our property of exponents plus the summation of n equals 1 to infinity of 3 tenths to the n. So we have two exponentials. Now we need to make sure both converge. 9 tenths is less than 1 so that one will definitely converge. 3 tenths is less than 1 so that one will definitely converge. So both of these are going to converge. So it's just a matter now of doing our formula for each. Now remember, we do have to calculate what the first term is. Since n equals 1, the first term is 9 tenths to the first, or 9 tenths. So I have 9 tenths divided by 1 minus our common ratio, which is 9 tenths. And that's going to be plus, first term here is 3 tenths over 1 minus the common ratio, which again is, which for that one is 3 tenths. So the first one, we're going to have 9 tenths times, well, we're dividing by 1 tenth. That's the same thing as multiplying by 10 over 1, plus 3 tenths. 
This will be 7 tenths. We're going to multiply by 10 sevenths. So those tens cancel. For this first one, we get 9. And for this one, we get 3 sevenths. So our solution is 9 and 3 sevenths. Or if we want to do it as an improper fraction, 30. Sorry, 66 sevenths.